A place called the Kids Palace looks to become an even bigger palace. As Governor Phil Murphy announces $17 million in American Rescue Plan money to go toward expanding access to child care. Is it the nice, good thing to do for our precious kids? Absolutely. It changes their lives. It's also cold-blooded. This allows moms and dads to get back into the workforce. It is an absolute economic development weapon. Happy Halloween, everybody. On Wednesday, the governor paid a visit to the Kids Palace 2, a daycare and preschool in West Orange, which, thanks to nearly $200,000 in state grants, was able to install a new sprinkler system and egress out back, setting the stage for them to expand. With the new improvements, Kids Palace 2 will finally be able to accommodate infants, a service they say they get calls about from new parents almost every day. I'm so happy that soon we're going to have uh, the babies here with us. Daniela Rodriguez works at the Kids Palace and has her son there with her. She says finding childcare is still a struggle for many. Sometimes it's really hard as a parent to find, to, we have to stop working because we don't have to help. According to a recent study by Help Advisor, New Jersey has the second highest child care costs in the nation. Governor Murphy pointed to his administration's investment of more than a billion dollars into the child care sector since taking office, while also touting, he says, record investments in K-12 through and college access. So it's a theme. Uh, we're not perfect. Uh, it's still not cheap, uh, but there's an absolutely cold-blooded uh, premeditated strategy to address everything from the littlest kids right up through college kids in a way that no other state is doing. With the additional $17 million, the State Economic Development Authority anticipates being able to approve all eligible child care centers that apply to the first phase of its child care facilities improvement program. In West Orange, Jim Vassell, PITS 11 News.